My name is Richard Bolig, and I earned the Doctor of Psychology degree, and I'm from Leewood, Kansas, which is a suburb of the Kansas City metropolitan area. I've worked in the mental health field for over 35 years in the Kansas City area. I've been a licensed clinical social worker of the master's degree in social work uh, since 1983, and I've worked with children, adults, and older adults in a variety of settings, uh, high, uh, psychiatric hospitals, residential settings. I've been in private practice, and uh, currently I work for the University of Kansas Health System. I provide behavioral health counseling services for patients of primary care clinics that are part of the K uh, University of Kansas Health System. What I liked most about it was uh, it allowed me to be able to do something like this, to earn my doctor, doctorate degree uh, with the flexibility that I needed that a brick and mortar school wouldn't allow me. I didn't have a set time, a schedule I had to follow. I could uh, study on evenings and weekends and times when it was more convenient for me. I could go at my pace if I wanted to go faster with something or if I needed to slow down. And uh, my mentors were uh, very patient and uh, very supportive of me. So it just allowed me to be able to do something that a traditional brick and mortar school wouldn't have been able to do. I do believe Cal Southern has helped me in my professional life. As uh, in my doctor of psychology, uh, I did my concentration, my electives in sports psychology. So uh, I'm planning to work with athletes. As part of the University of Kansas Health System, we have a sports medicine department and I've helped provide some services for that department and we work with sports teams in the Kansas City area including the Kansas City Royals and area high schools and I uh, th in the getting the education I got through Cal Southern it's helped to give me more knowledge to be able to and more credibility to be able to provide services in that field to athletes and uh, in the sports medicine department. Well, I would say that for students that are struggling to finish their degree, um, if I could do it, uh, you can do it. Uh, because uh, I'm 64 years old and uh, I just kept sticking with it, you know. So just keep plodding along, be patient, stick to it one step at a time, and you'll get there. Just apply yourself and, and it's worth it. <laughs>